Hey all you guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to pull the present energy, look at the past and future. If this does resonate, like, share and subscribe. I'm going to look into yourself, your personal environment, hopes, fears, hidden destiny, short-term future and long-term outcome. In the past, we've got the Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. Path of the Spiritual Warrior, that's what's coming through. Harsh endings. Learning to master yourself, learning the art of letting go. Present Energy, Knight of swords the chariot ace of pentacles the tower page of cups page of swords the hierophant future energy the hierophant judgment death seven of cups four of cups eight of wands nine of wands eight of swords you've learned how to free yourself to to liberate yourself from your own your own judgment, your own standards. It's like telling yourself you're not ready for something because something's not quite right or you're not perfect in some way. It feels like realising where you were getting in your own way. And as difficult as it is, it's like facing your own programming, battling your own programming, reprogramming something. It feels like it's been a battle. Not that reprogramming is a battle, but it feels like it's been a battle for you to identify certain things that have been holding you back, things that where you've even been getting in your own way, how that stresses you out. And then having to accept the fact that you've been holding yourself back feels like it comes with another load of emotions. That it meant you having to end a lot of things you were doing that turned out to be more of just a distraction. It feels like that thing of energy vampires, trauma bonding. Like you could have been socialising with certain people in certain environments, entertaining certain things that you thought you actually wanted to do and it was like they were just distractions. It was something that you was doing to stop you feeling an emotion that you had suppressed. It feels like the realisation of this pissed you off, but there's been freedom in that. It's led to a turning point in your life, 52, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles. There's been a change in your fortune. It feels like something generationally, that whatever this was that was holding you back could be self-sabotage, addiction, whatever it was. It feels like a pattern, a thought pattern, a behaviour, a belief that has been carried through generationally. Something that you've put an end to. There's a new beginning starting up for yourself. <clears throat> you chose to start a new beginning for yourself. It's like whatever it took. Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles, mastering your spirit, the spiritual side of things has led to you mastering your money. There's a lot of money coming in. There's been some realisation that to receive a lot of money or to receive abundance, to be in that place of abundance, how much the spiritual side of things comes into that. How that somebody that's disconnected from themselves, from source, they can make money, but it's like not in the same way. That you've mastered the art of receiving through your own evolution, your own acceptance of self, your own belief that you're worthy, that you're deserving of something. It feels like it took some painful endings for this perspective shift to take place. It's come with a lot of internal conflict, anxiety, and stress it feels like you could have been left with no one to talk to nowhere to turn it feels like a feeling of despair wanting to run away from yourself that thing of not being able to sit in your own mind for a minute feeling angry at yourself for being the way that you are it feels like it led you to go within to seek guidance from a higher place four of swords and understanding that the reason why you didn't accept yourself was because others didn't accept you in some way. And understanding that you're not for everyone. There's something here that 
the things about you that you once hated or that once caused you some kind of stress it feels like an energy of oh why do i have to be this way wanting to change or fight to change yourself in some way and now it's like expanding those parts of yourself realizing that those are the parts of yourself that you love the most that you found power in the things that maybe you've been condemned for maybe for a lifetime There's an energy here of, if you don't ask, you don't get. I don't get this often with this. Um, but the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles and the Tower, it feels like a realisation that you were settling for something because you actually wasn't asking for more in terms of speaking that aloud, speaking things into existence, taking action energetically 922 energetically asking for something more you've asked for these changes to take place it feels like it feels like mastering your own magic mastering the art of co-creation And again, I don't always I I don't feel like I've ever got this kind of view of um this from these three cards, but what's coming through with these cards is it's like you've given your mind yeah triple zero. You've given your mind and you've given your heart to the divine. Like surrendering willingly surrendering it feels like how that energy of like the energy of like energy healing like or like ray yeah like reiki which is a form of that where it's like when you see like with healing with hands and you put your hand on someone that it's not necess it's not you necessarily doing anything it's not like there's something that you have to do for something to happen it's just emptying yourself letting that life force that universal life force flow through you that we all have access to that you empty yourself give yourself up to god give yourself up to the divine and it's like you're a vessel you're a a channel for that energy you're just like the how a tap is for the water it's like source being the water you're just the tap like you're just the tool and it it feels like something like that that things got so intense that it was like a child going to their parent just surrendering like laying in the arms of god that kind of thing seeking support from a higher place maybe even stating that you just that you couldn't handle something it feels like that honesty how a child is honest how a lot of people may find it difficult to be honest about their own struggles or what they what they're struggling with because of how it maybe affects their ego. It feels like you've just, in a very childlike way, even if it's just in your energy, just confirming that it's like, SOS guys, help me out here. Like it's not a thing that you don't know who you are or what you're capable of, but it feels like, it feels like having two sides to yourself or it's like both of these parts of you are just merge together that you can drop from this place of i really know nothing like giving it up to god realizing how powerless you are in in this universe how short a time we're here how we're so temporary and then also taking action and having the belief that you are divine one 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 that you are divine it feels like both parts of yourself you see as just as beautiful 
just turned to 2 a.m. Yeah, the high priestess. Oh, God. It's... It feels like a huge acceptance of self. And I've never seen anyone have this much acceptance of self unless they've gone through some shit that gave them no option but to keep going in this way and there's huge success here and it moving from this higher event from the higher priestess they're coming out we've got like the hermit the hermit judgments death, the judgment death near future energy it feels like a transformation's already taken place but and it feels like you're very aware that you've transformed and you're quite happy about it excited about it you've acknowledged that you can see the change in yourself physically mentally emotionally whatever it is like internal shifts external shifts you can see that something's happening and it feels like there's some magic in that regardless of how hard things may be or if things aren't quite where you want them to be but there's a sense of magic in you can feel something in the air you can feel things shifting things coming about energetically but there's a huge transformation another transformation it feels like taking something to a whole different level Fourteen forty one. Justice. Ace of Cups. Oh, wow, guys. The lovers, six of swords. Follow your intuition when it comes to love. There could be love coming in in the near future. It means shifting your perspective on something to do with emotion. To do with emotion and to do with confidence. Confidence in being and expressing yourself. It feels like some of you are enjoying your connection so much, just like you and Source. Yeah, two, two, that it's like. you're quite good like that, that there's no need for love, that's how it feels, that you're full, you're already full, even when things aren't good, it's like a feeling of fullness, a feeling of unconditional love, from yourself to yourself and your guides, Queen of Wands, I'm here, go and go on, go and have some fun. Go and have some fun, the star. It feels like past loved ones being like, yeah, like we're here. Like, you know, if you was gonna, I don't know, go and see a grandparent and you've got, and it's like, you, you, you usually stay for dinner and then maybe there's a party or something on and you're like, oh no, like I'm not gonna, go because obviously you're going to spend time with your grandparents and they're like no like go on go and like, enjoy yourself like life short there's something here like you're connecting to past loved ones like yes yes okay Einstein like you put in the work you've got the formulas down you've you've mastered something yes we love having you here come for tea when you like like chat away tune in we've got you go and have some fun like you it's not a, it's not a this or that you're not going to lose your connection you there's something about being serious or feeling like you need to be serious to connect this could stem from like school programming or something seeing the divine as a thing like um an authority figure that how if you have to behave a certain way at school you have to behave a certain way maybe around grandparents or some kind of programming like that it feels like you feel like you to respect your ancestors, to respect God in some way that you you are not going to even take a minute to do anything else other than this. And it's like, it's OK. Take a breather. Do something for yourself. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Reward yourself. Do you know how far you've come? And there's something about actually that's part of the work too, that you out there shining your light, doing what you love, being yourself, enjoying yourself, being in that light place. That success is coming with that. It gives you time to reflect. It gives you time to 
it's going to cultivate that feeling of freedom that's going to help to help the energy of what it is you're creating because there's some there's some possibility of being in dissatisfaction it's like feeling dissatisfied and it, this could come later on like there's something that happened where it's like realizing that you're doing a great job like you're doing the work you're doing great but you're miserable i'm seeing like a like a school child doing work and it's like they've got great grades but that's all that they do maybe they haven't tapped into what they enjoy it's giving capricorn energy it's giving my it's my that i'm like this as well this is something i'm learning because i'll just shut everything and everyone off and it's like i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy Busy doing what? Go and let your hair out of bed. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Celebration. It's like this is just a little pinpoint because it feels like this is something you're going to realise in the near future. And the answer, the key to that is to celebrate. Celebrate yourself. Enjoy yourself. Do things that are maybe... Yeah, I just... Again, the start. It's like do something that may... It may be something you don't think is relevant, but there's actually something there that is relevant. Breaking out of your box, trusting that, like trusting in the magic that things work in mysterious ways, and you could be somewhere you don't feel like you, a productive being, and everything you've been wanting to find out, or everything you need to know, or someone you need to meet, it all happens that time. It's like follow your heart. Because it feels like this is something you're going to master anyway later. But it's just like by implementing that celebration now. It may prevent that prolonged period of unhappiness. Yeah. Strength in reverse. Like it's okay. You can put down your sword for a minute. Jeez. End to burden. An end to burden. Wands, ten of swords in reverse, strength in reverse. News worth celebrating, yeah, on the eight of wands. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends that you cherish. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. Maybe check that for yourself. These look like poppies. Feels like a transformation in love. Do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you, a spiritually minded community. Number five, unity. Let's check out these columns and see what's going on here. So, column of self, we've got Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Hermit. Feels serious. Feels like that energy of us being a spiritual warrior, maybe having to communicate harsh truths, having to speak on things that not everyone's comfortable speaking on, a realization of your purpose in some way, two, two, two. It feels like you found your purpose has been revealed to you in a period of isolation. Or it's like only you know about this. It feels like something that you've this like you've that's been communicated to you. Like you could have received downloads about this, just chatting to your guides, communicating with source, like tuning into intuition. Something's become apparent that you need to you needed to learn to express yourself to Stand strong in your truth. Be vocalising something. Maybe it's public speaking. It feels like that energy of protest. But it, it might not be. It's just like maybe the same kind of courage and bravery that it takes to stand up and speak for what you truly believe in. Something like that. feels like there's some overwhelm with this. But you know you've got it in you to handle it. 
it feels like how you'd maybe go into a fight like if you're fighting like um or like a boxing match the as much as you like that you may feel nervous you may feel anxious like wow what if this happens what if that happens like things can happen just having that realization and then that just before you step into the ring it's like them last few words you say to yourself like nah like i've got this like, i've got this that kind of unbeatable energy champion energy We're in champion, Voodoo Banton. It feels powerful. Like there's two sides of you, like how if like a child was to dress up as Batman, it's like they feel like a child, but then they put on their mask and it's like, nah, I've got this, it's like, tune into your higher self and it's there's no doubt it's like you know you can handle this your environment something's coming to an end it feels like somewhere you could have been for a long time maybe a lifetime it feels like that energy of a family home or somewhere that you've just very attached to but there's some you're gonna you could be traveling to somewhere completely different or like laying foundations by yourself or just not with who you're used to being with on a daily or the same kind of energies that you're used to being around it does feel like a change in location your hope was for change your hope was for transformation as much as it's a fear it's like a fear to transform a fear to let go a fear to shed but also knowing how necessary that is to bring in something that you want it feels like you've been committed to this And even that, it's like choosing if it's going to be a hope or a fear. By either coming from your place, that heart space, or coming from fear. Like if you drop into your heart and you think best possible outcomes from that place of love. How a child would fantasise about things. About like... I don't know. Like it's a very imaginative energy that you can really dream something up big right now, take something to the next level, as long as you're tuning into it from that place of excitement rather than that place of fear. It's like not dismissing anything. Like if fears are there, it's like face that, but trying to choose what you want to believe, choosing what you want to believe. Even that, the try thing, it's like there is no try. It's like, what do you want? Do you want it to work? Do you not want it to work? Do you want to believe it? Do you not want to believe it? It's like, choose it, do it. And knowing that just like that, just by, that, by having that command over yourself, that it will be done. It's only when you backtrack on, oh, maybe not, maybe it's not possible, that it won't be done. Hidden Destiny, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, High Priestess, The Moon. There's something about your intuition that you're, that you mastering your intuition is bigger than just what you thought it was about. It, feels, it might feel nice to be able to trust yourself, to feel at peace. It feels like regulating your nervous system in some way. But it's like, yeah happy for you this is great this is what that great that you've mastered this but have you not like have you sensed why it's like looking around you is everybody doing that moving in the same way having the same kind of ideas why do you have the ideas that you have why are you the way you are it feels like your intuition is necessary in something that you're going to be doing for the long term it feels like a job but that doesn't feel like a job how it's like you don't how are people just get up people that people that haven't got work or that aren't that don't go to a nine to five 
how they'll just get up and do their day it's like there's something that you just do in your day anyway this it feels like something that you need to be very intuitive for something you need to strengthen your intuition in order to excel at but it's not going to feel like work it's going to feel like as natural to you as getting up and putting like making a making tea or make like making a drink or whatever it is it's not going to feel like you're doing a job because it's like so for you and it's so you who you are it feels like it's going to make sense why certain things happened and why you had to master your emotions to such a point because of the opportunities that's coming in because of what it is you're here to do it does feel like this has already been revealed to you there may be more to be revealed but it feels like you've got an idea or just know that it's there's something Yeah, there's a lot of money coming in because of this. It, you could have been abandoned in childhood or left out in the cold in some way, some kind of codependency. It feels like being put down, that you wish you could have had a different childhood or you wish you could have had a different upbringing, a different whatever it is. It could be any stage of your life. Wishing something could be different. It feels like from a place of the inner child, something that stems from childhood, even if it was beliefs that attracted different certain events later on, it feels like it stems from childhood, the root of that. But it's like the thing that you wish never happened or ha the things you wish uh, could have been different, that if it wasn't for your path, you wouldn't be where you're at. It's like we all have that power of choice. It feels like you've taken a bad situation and instead of accepting it, it's like belief is power. Not letting anyone condemn you to a life that you don't want. Ace of Cups. The world. Why do I feel like I'm going to cry? End of a karmic cycle. It feels like you're going to be choked up at how much you've overcome and it doesn't feel like it's about the money and it doesn't feel like it's about the physical it feels like it's about something personal this come up before but all that and the others coming in the most beautiful bright emerald green like lotus flower it looks like a lotus but it's like it looks like made of leaves i don't know what this is what is that the way it's photographed is actually trippy but now i'm looking at it, it could be like some kind of plant but of like a bird's eye view so it's like opening up like a lotus it's giving heart chakra energy it's like you've loved yourself to where you want to be yeah 19 strength It's like what I'm seeing with this with the lion and the hand in the mouth. I don't normally get this with this either, but like how if an animal's traumatized that it takes patience, it takes love, it takes care. What's coming to my mind is the cat. Because it's like I remember first trying to give the cat water and it was like it wouldn't come near me. There was like it was scared and it's like people around me kind of said like would label the cat as violent or moody or not just like oh it's just not a nice cat kind of thing and it's like no it took time and now it's like you would have thought anyone would have said that the cat doesn't like affection that the cat doesn't like to be 
to be in contact with humans, that the cat wants to be left alone and that the cat's vicious. And it's like after however many months, this same cat now like comes to get me when it's time for her brush and will like jump up on my leg and ask for cuddles and has a bedtime routine and is literally the cutest thing. I'm just going into all kinds of daydream about the cat. Um, and there's something about that. It's like... You've met yourself with love. Patience. Your lower self. With the strength card, it's like... You've tamed the beast with love. That if you want... That if you was to approach some kind of animal like in that state, in a traumatised state and be very demanding and dominant and controlling and kind of coming in that kind of energy, then they'll attack. And it feels like you could have been, you've learned how to shift, how to treat yourself right. It's like if you wouldn't treat someone else with such disrespect, why would you treat yourself with disrespect? <laughs> Love a little picture's come up. This might, I don't know if it's relevant because it's coming through, but I was literally brushing my hair the other night and it was like stupid o'clock and I was thinking, oh, I really can't bother to brush my hair. So I was kind of just like brushing it fast and it, I pulled something, it was like, ah, like it hurt. And I could hear my guys, it's like, you wouldn't brush the cat like that. Like, you wouldn't dare brush the cat like that. Why are you brushing yourself like that? I was like, you know, you're right. Like, when I'm brushing the cat, I sing to the cat, stroke the cat. I make sure my energy's right because I don't want to trigger the cat. So it's like, why do you not do that for you? And then with that, I'm singing to myself, brushing my head like I'm the cat. And it was glorious, two, two, two. And I'm like, why don't I treat myself like that? Why am I trying to rush? Where are you rushing to? And it feels like you've balanced something out. Yeah, you've mastered something when it comes to how you're treating yourself. 36 minutes, guys. God. <laughs> if this do resonate, like, share and subscribe. No, fuck that. I've still got one more light column, guys. I don't know if it's going to upload because my, my whole thing's running out. Okay. Yeah, we're going, we're going. Short-term outcome, nine of swords, four of cups, page of swords. Period of anxiety, a period of stress. The stress is coming from the fear of this dream, this lifestyle not happening. Long-term, you have everything you want. Four of swords, hierophant, the eight of wands. This is if you continue with the same intentions, how you're moving, what it is you're following your heart, following your intuition. The, this anxiety, this short-term outcome, there may be a few things that make you doubt if something's going to work, but it feels more of a test, a test of are you going to give up just because things aren't as easy as you thought they were? It feels like, no, you're, you're sure. Before there may have been some, conclu some confusion, but now you're at the conclusion that you're following your heart regardless of what is happening. So 37 minutes, 17 seconds, guys. Love you. Thank you for tuning in. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.